The Maths Project aims to improve the education of visually disabled children and students in order to increase their access to higher education. The suggestion is that with a better education, more blind people will qualify for the jobs market. This video will show a revolutionary approach to helping blind and partially sighted students do mathematics. Modern technology is increasingly used in classrooms, particularly to help visually disabled students. However, up to now this use has been restricted to reading and writing text. Mathematics has been impossible. The development of the maths workstation has been driven by user needs. This has led to an evolution in human-computer interaction methods. The workstation we have developed is truly revolutionary in that it offers real multimodal interaction involving visual display, braille outputs, synthetic speech and non-speech sounds, as will be demonstrated in the following scenes. Suppose I wanted to solve this equation. As a sighted person, I would probably first of all look at it and see that it's a simple quadratic equation. Looking a bit more closely, I notice that the terms in x squared cancel, so I can remove those, and I have 4x minus 10 equals 6. I take the 10 across to the other side of the equation, so I have 4x equals 6 plus 10, which equals 16. Then I just divide through by 4, so that I get x is 16 over 4, or x equals 4. Now imagine me trying to do that if I was blind. There's no reason to suppose that blind people are not equally good at doing mathematics, but what they lack is the facility to be able to write down equations. So for instance, I wouldn't have any easy way of writing down these intermediate steps. And also, if I wanted to commu communicate how I had done that equation to somebody else, I wouldn't have any way of doing that. It's very difficult to do that in a non-visual way. This is what we've been looking at in the maths project, how to provide an alternative representation for mathematics that is non-visual. And it turns out it's actually quite difficult that you have to use a uh, multimodal computer with um, non-visual forms of output. What we're going to demonstrate here is using sound output speech and non-speech sounds to perform mathematics. Overview of the expression in musical sounds which show me the structure but not the detail. So I know that that's equation, an equation with many terms on the left hand side but only one on the right hand side and the two high-pitched sounds told me that there are two terms with superscripts in them on the left-hand side. So I know it's some sort of polynomial. To hear the detail, I can ask it to show me the whole expression. 2x to the 2 plus 4x minus 2x to the 2 minus 10 equals 6. So I think the two terms with x squared are the same. So I'll just go through in detail term by term, checking that. 2x squared plus 4x minus 2x squared minus 10 equals 6. So I've got a 2x squared and a minus 2x squared. So those cancel out, so I can remove those. 2x squared. It's spoken 2x squared. So what is, and what is spoken is selected. So I can now remove that selection. Plus. Plus 4x. I can check that the current term is now plus 4x and the whole expression sounds like... Plus 4x minus 2x to the 2 minus 10 equals 6. And I now need to remove the second term in x squared so I can go to the next term. Plus 4x. Plus 4x. Minus 2x squared. And now minus 2x squared is selected so I'll try and delete that. Remove selection. Minus and I'll ask what the current expression is. Plus 4x minus 2 minus 10 equals 6. So there are a couple of things I've got to tidy up there. At the beginning, there's a, an extra plus I don't need. Plus 4x. It's spoken plus 4x, so all of that is selected. I know the focus of attention will be on the plus, 
So I can speak that in isolation by asking it to speak the current item. Plus. Plus. So I can now remove that selection. 4x. So now on the 4x. Minus 2. And there's a stray minus 2 in there, so I've now spoken that, and I can remove that as well. 4x minus 10 equals 6. 4x. Speak the whole expression again. 4x minus 10 equals 6. So I've got 4x minus 10 equals 6. Now I can move the minus 10 over to the other side, so I get 4x equals 6 plus 10. So I find the minus 10 by moving to the next term. Minus 10. That's selected. I can mark that selection, ready to move it over to the other side. Marked. I go to the end of the expression. Equals 6. That end sound tells me, that sound tells me that I'm at the end. And I can move what I've marked after the current point. Minus 10. And ask what the current expression looks like now. 4x equals 6 minus 10. So I've got 6 minus 10 on the right-hand side, but that 10, minus 10, needs to be a plus 10. The focus of atten attention should be the minus. I'll check that with current item. Minus. And change that symbol to a plus. Plus. And I've got a special command which will change the sign of a term. 4x equals 6 plus 10. I'll write a new, start a new, new expression holder, and I can write 4x equals 16 to tidy up my working. 4x equals 1, 16. Just check that I've got what I expect. 4x equals 16. To continue my solution, I need to divide each side by 4. So I'll start a new expression. The PAR 9B. The new expression... The new expression will be x equals a fraction, which is 16 over 4. x equals... So I'll start my fraction. A fraction. 1, 16. That's my numerator fi finished, so I'll start my denominator. Over 4. And I'll just check my writing again. x equals 16 over 4. So I've got x equals 16 over 4. And I'll start a new expression. The new expression is expression 6. And so my final solution, I can write out very simply, as x, x equals 4. x equals 4. A final check shows me that I have indeed written x equals 4, and that's the final solution. The math workstation can not only be used by blind people, but also by sighted people. It is based on a standard graphical use interface supporting SGML. Here we show the polynom x plus 4 minus 9 times parenthesis x minus 7 closing parenthesis equals 6. This information is shown to a blind user also in Braille. Now in order for a teacher to get hold of this information, a braille viewer window is shown also on the screen so that every braille character can be visualized using ASCII characters. All the commands that are available for speech are also available in order to navigate the braille version. For a blind user it is very important that the modalities used for input and for output are the same. Therefore, we support Braille input on a standard PC keyboard. Here you see that multiple keystrokes can be entered in order to produce standard Braille characters that are then shown on the Braille display. If you look more closely on the Braille display, you will find that the mathematical terms are very large. It is therefore important to collapse and expand them. This is what we call dynamic Braille. By pressing routing keys, either on the left side or on the right side of a collapsed term, the two operations can be initiated by the user and controlled with his or her fingers.